Okay, so all the jobs I did yesterday, let me look at them real quick. Okay, it's almost time for your nappies. No. I had two, three that I did. One of the clients was able to wait until after eight o'clock, which was cool to me, but she was at an appointment. So I was like, bet, I'll wait until after you get there in order to come do the job. So it made it easier because I was there early at like three something. I knocked out both of the other jobs and I was kind of just waiting on her. But hers wasn't until Tuesday. But usually, mm -hmm, but usually when I'm in the area, I just say I'm in the area, would you like me to go knock it out a little bit ahead of time? Or do you want to wait until the next day? And typically, you know, you get them to kind of sway because it's like, well, he already right here. I ain't doing nothing. I, it's my TV. You know, they're they not inclined to say no. They're more inclined to be like, and bring bring your butt on and get this started like so i'm all i'm always there even sometimes late i've been in some people's houses like 12 o'clock at night getting stuff done like just getting it done like i'm like yeah if you want to do it we can do it tonight bro like, i ain't got nothing else to do i'm drinking okay i'm on my way so that's that's usually how my end up my jobs end up flowing so i try to take jobs in a route so, you went to Columbia, right? And then I told you about, yeah, when you went to Columbia, I told you about the 150 job in Lexington. All right, so when I saw that and I was already in Columbia, had I not had three jobs to already do, I would have just scooted over to Lexington. Mm. But I, hmm? That's exactly what is happening. And then you got to go back on the other log where it says job offer and job something. It's right there on the app. You got to refresh it and go back to it. And the job will pop up there. So when you, yeah, it's, it's my offer. You get a direct offer. And then it's job board. So on job board, if there are any jobs that are out there that's just lingering, you can click on that and go get it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Like, the doorbell is what? Too easy. Thank you. Like, like, like don't, don't get me wrong now. Some of them you're going to have a headache with. Not all of them will be that easy. But for the boat, the boatload of them, like, yeah, man, it's, it's not that bad. You, as long as you got enough wire to wrap it around something and or you got that connector piece to slide behind it. Good to go. It's... it's Correct. I was afraid to do thermostats up until I figured out you had to turn the power off. And now when I go do a doorbell, I don't turn the power off. I need the power on because in order for me to check the doorbell to make sure that it's working, I got to hit the button a thousand times just to verify. It. So as soon as it goes ding, I bet I'm putting everything back on because that's all I wanted it to do. As soon as it goes ding in that house, that's it. Nothing else I'm going to try to do. I got you. Now, uh, they give you to 150 miles. I try to use a dual location. So I have jobs that are like far apart. Like, but I try to jumble all of them together. So like, for instance, they have been throwing a job in Winston-Salem um, in Greensboro for the past two days. Had I had another job that was up that way or nothing that was in that direction, I would have said, I right, bet, let me go ahead and go to Greensboro to knock out these two jobs. Because it doesn't make sense for me to go up there one day and then backtrack and have to go up there another day. They're not gonna pay me for it. They're not gonna pay me for the mileage. They're only gonna pay me for the job. And if you're only gonna pay me for the job, I have to think smart enough of myself to say, all right, I'm not wasting two tanks of gas coming up here. I'm just getting up here. So. Right. So, I mean, you'll have a lot of people that go back and forth between 
what they want to get done right now and what they're willing to wait for. But for the, the biggest bulk of people that you're running to, man, they're ready to get their stuff done. Like you set them a date, the only problem that they have mostly is, do you have your TV already? No. Well, damn. I can't do anything up until you have your TV. <clears throat> and yeah and so like that that's how it works like i try to think smarter not harder i know that they're going to be scheduled times that they give me some jobs are going to be the eight some jobs are going to be at nine some at 11 and then they stretch it all the way to three it's like okay do i really want to wait that long but you have people that are willing to wait after eight o'clock to get a job done so it's cool you just have to schedule up with them and let them know and see how it's going to work but that's usually you no know, okay caleb Correct, correct. You make your schedule. You kind of make the, the decisions on what you want to do. Because why would I want to wait on the weekend to go do a job I could do now and have a free weekend? The only thing in decision I have to make is going to go do the job. The only problem I have is if they don't have the product there when I arrive. In most cases, they already got it. They're just waiting on you to contact them, which is perfect. Like, you know, which is perfect. <laughs> like, which is perfect. I'm like, hey, you, you ready? I'm ready. I'm pulling up. But I've been in some people's houses. Yeah, I've been in some people's houses and they had like like technology home checkups. Like, hey, what can we do to amplify our home? I'm going to suggest this, 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 and this. And then they'll recommend me come right back out there and install everything that they just suggested. I just suggested. And I'm like, bet, I'll make that look easy because I have all of it. I've played with all of it, or I've done something with it. So fire sticks, Apple TVs, um, Sono sound bars, setting up your internet, giving you mesh router Wi-Fi instead of your extender. And I'll go ahead and tell you right off gate, bro. Um, even though you get in the option of giving and using extenders for people, don't recommend it. I don't. I don't suggest it often. I tell people that you really just need a mesh, and because people try to take the extender piece and think that it's going to solve like a lot of problems. I got a video doorbell in the front. I got a floodlight in the front and I got another camera out there watching, but I only got this one extender. I'm like, bro, that joint is not about to work. Your internet is not <laughs> like your internet is not going to be sufficient doing that. And I'm, I'm like, it's trying to be on a FaceTime call. 24 hours is what you're asking your camera to do while being on Wi-Fi. It's doable, but don't you have lag that comes in between your TVs or buffering that goes in between your shows? That's where that comes from. And now you're asking a, a, a device that records to do a 24 hour simultaneously. Yes, ma'am. So it makes it even tougher. Mmm. Yeah, because you got Spectrum. But it's always more than 10. I, I haven't been in a house yet that has less than five, or less than seven. Like, And I'm talking about like little country houses in the, in the boonies. Bro, they got three cameras to go. Four, four smart TVs. You don't think you about to have some buffer going on? Like, 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 let's really talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it. Like, what, what do you really think is about to happen? Like, you that's a way too much to put on the internet that you have. And more or less, you're in the country. You don't even have a spectrum. You have someone that is making internet come out this direction because they won't give it to you. Man, you asking for a lot. <laughs> like, man. Yeah, bro, I've been, I don't, I've never heard of some of these internet services that's out here. But when you start going out to the country and you hear something called Nailnet or Alcatel, I'm like, bro, I, I didn't know they existed. I'm like, who are they? But they are your internet service provider, your ISP. So bet, that's what we're going to use them as. Do they get make good internet? No. <laughs> like, no. 
They make it good enough to work out there for you. <laughs> That's all they care about. <laughs> Yeah, that job good enough to work out there for you. So that's what they're going to go with. And I don't blame them. So. But that that is, those are the tricks that I've learned. The helper fee will always be something that you want to add on, regardless if it says yes or no. If it says yes and you can't change it, you just want to talk to the client personally. Like, hey, I know you said you can lift the TV, but in order for me to get this little assistance thing, I have to get you to verify that you can lift the TV and I'll tell you why. It pays out an additional $25 if you say that you can't help me lift the TV, which helps me out in the end so I get paid a little bit more. Not saying that you have to give me a tip or anything, but that's kind of how I wanted to work this, like just so I can get a little bit extra. So if you don't mind, which you're already helping me lift it, just say you didn't help, you know? Cool. Uh, so depending on what they're doing with their TV, so like if they have, um, well, for instance, one of the things that you ran into the metal stud, like if you legitimately would have had a drill and we couldn't have found another spot there, that would have been an add-on fee, right? If they would have went from a fixed mount to a tilt mount to a full motion mount, those would be add-on fees. If you were doing core concealment, which I don't like doing like that, that would have been an add-on fee. If she would have told you to put it somewhere where it was brick, that would have been an add-on fee. All of that stuff could have been added through the app. And if it couldn't have been, you could have called them and they would have added it for you. Because I would have sat there and said, hey, before I do this, I'm going to tell you what this is and how it's going to add on to the charge. She didn't know it was Metal Stud there. Neither did we. But you told us, put it here. <laughs> like, that's all you said to us. You told us, put it here. Bet. We, we going to make it work. Because I was going to ask her, did she want to pick another location? But that wasn't the thing. So you, got, you have to remember, you don't work per hour. That's not the lifestyle of work life you do. Like, this is a bridge job. So bridge jobs are just where they send you the leads to do the actual service. Like, Lowe's has a lead job. It's a bridge job. And they have people who come out and actually put your refrigerator in or your your um your stove in. Those are bridge jobs. It just gets leads to do it. So this is yeah, this is one of those. Then there was another one that I was talking to you about earlier, thumbtack. Thumbtack is essentially the same thing, light hello tech, except for you sending them the pricing that you want it to be. So if someone wants a home theater specialist to come out there and do a service for them. You can charge them 100, 200, whatever the price may be, and you go out there and do it for them. So it's this. Yeah, I mean, I've just learned about it probably like a couple of weeks ago. So it's nothing new. I haven't even ran that first job yet. But I mean, it is there, you know? So I wanna, I talk about these things because I'm really starting to learn I'm becoming a master of something small. And it's like these app-based things that can make you money, right? So you have a car. You got a potty? Okay, let's go.